Now, last but certainly not least, we've got our last Beetleweight three-pounder with Dennis's Utopia up against Matthew's Exercise Restraint. Now, in past years, Utopia has been the most destructive robot that we have had. It has won numerous competitions. Uh, these days, we've got a bit stiffer competition. It's lost its crown. Dennis is hoping to take it back. And so he has largely rebuilt both of his big vertical spinning drum robots. And he's hoping to be able to step it back up again and take back that, that win. He'll be going up against Exercise Restraint, which is also a vertical spinning drum style robot. This one is what we might call a, an egg beater or beater bar configuration. Uh, a lot easier to build really than the drums because you don't need a, a fancy mill or lathe or something like that. Uh, these can be cut flat and then you can tap holes in them and put the big teeth on them later. So a lot easier to manufacture, uh, but still very effective. You can see the center part of it is completely milled out because we don't want the weight in the middle of the spinning weapon. We want it all around the outside where it contributes to the inertia and therefore the amount of uh, momentum stored up inside of the robot for the same amount of weight at the same speed. And I recognize a lot of these parts. This looks like some of the work that FingerTech has been uh, making some of these various attachments and weapons. Looks very similar to one that won a few years ago. Uh, both Mamba and Black Adder had a very similar configuration and were very effective. We'll see how well it works in Matthew's robot here, Exercise Restraint. Both contenders are choosing to close their push-outs. Obviously, this is going to be a match to the death. They don't want any quick bounces out or anything like that. It's going to be all about ripping up their opponents. Now, one advantage that Dennis may have in this is that you can see he's got small wheels with big wheel, uh, wheel guards around them, so it's going to be hard to take out his wheels. You're pretty much just going to have to either whip off those wheel guards, it's going to be really hard to do, or break the weapon or just hit him hard enough that he stops functioning. Uh, whereas Exercise Restraint has big foam wheels on the outside, very much exposed, so a few good bites into those, and he might chew through them enough or pop them off entirely. So that'll definitely be the one thing that Matthew will have to watch out for is try to make sure he keeps the weapon pointed towards his opponent, as you always wish to do. One thing he does have that might help him out is uh, Matthew's exercise restraint has two little wedgelet fingers at the front there. Uh, those are useful for two things. One, they help try and keep your opponent in front of your weapon, as opposed to sliding off the side. It also can be helpful for getting underneath the weapons of other opponents, so you can kind of hold them back, lift them out of the way, and then go in with your own weapon. All right, drivers are ready. We will start in three, two, one, fight. Oh, oh, both drums spin up nice and fast. Oh, gosh. Utopia just bouncing into that steel wall is already extremely loud, nibbling away at the plastic uh, body there, and off goes the wheel just like that. Absolutely obliterates it. The Utopia's not going to stop there. He doesn't want a chance of winning on this one. Now riding around on top of Utopia. He's able to actually still move around with one wheel and with the momentum of that spinning weapon, he can actually get it on one wheel and drive himself around the arena. So it is still possible, although difficult, but he has to get himself moving. And it looks like he's going for a tap out. Yeah, that is it. Tapped out. That is the end of the fight. And the win will go to Utopia. Congratulations, Dennis. Good call there by Matthew, unfortunately. Not a lot he's going to be able to do once he's got no wheel on that side. And you'd rather be able to keep your robot for the next fight because this is a, du a double elimination tournament that we have here this weekend. So got to make sure you have an opportunity. And we're going to start.